the Watchman and the Amplitzer devices are the most widespread systems for left atrial appendage closure. Currently, the Watchman device is the only FDI-approved device. In Europe, a lot of centers use instead the AMOLED device, so we have the Watchman and the AMOLED community. Both devices have not been directly compared. So the goal of our study, the Watch at Lark study, was to compare long-term efficacy, safety, and net clinical benefit of both devices. Basically, the study design is of a retrospective nature. We were able to match 250 versus 250 patients against each other with regard to stroke and bleeding risk and other important baseline characteristics with impact on prognosis. The data are derived from two real-world registries, the Bern Zurich Amplatzer registry and the Watchman registry in Lichtenfels. By means of a sweep follow-up, we were able to determine long-term clinical safety and efficacy data as well as mortality data and all the endpoints were derived from the PROTECT AF trials to get optimal comparability. We were able to gain 1,270 patient years and the mean follow-up times were 2.4 versus 2.6 years in each group. The co-primary endpoints of safety, efficacy, as well as net clinical benefit were comparable for both devices. Also, all components of the predefined endpoints were comparable. Both devices offered equivalent protection from all-cause stroke and systemic embolism. The rate of major periprocedural complications, bleedings on long-term, and cardiovascular and unexplained death did not differ. First of all, up to now, only for the Watchman device, long-term clinical data have been available, but not at all for the Amplatzer device. So with that study, we are for the first time in the situation that we have the long-term results for the device. And on the second hand, we have the direct comparability, so the study is of retrospective nature, but we can directly compare the results to the Watchman device. And I think for the communities of both devices, the study results are good news since for the Amplatzer community, it's good news because surely the Amplatzer device shows a non-inferiority in all the major endpoint of the study and for the Watchman community it may open more the field in the sense of going also to implant the Amplatzer systems in special anatomies for the patients. As left atrial appendage closure is a purely preventive treatment, we should reduce procedural complications and um, improve outcomes which could be influenced by thrombi and peri-device leaks. So um, further research um, should be done on procedural planning to characterize better the anatomy of left atrial appendage to choose the right type and size of device.